years is however many people are here, we have that many new plants. So we'd like to hear if you can take some time. After I, 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 do have, ask a I do have a question, and I apologize um, for my asking it earlier. If we make the changes at, at Pompeo and we put in the new, the new bleachers, will that require us, for example, Purpose Borough, require us to put in additional, additional toilet facilities because we're putting in new bleachers? Is that something that we, I mean, I don't think we've had that conversation with Purpose Borough. So do we know what might come? Is there more here if you make that change at purpose that we're not looking at right now? We were told uh, two or three years ago that that is a possibility. We started doing repairs in the field that they'll ask for additional ADA So this cost for repairing the yoga just with the bleachers could go up, even if we decide, even tonight if we decide that we didn't want to do you know, any locker rooms or bathrooms when we go to Purpose Borough and have that conversation they could require. We'd have to investigate that, yes. Okay. Anybody have any questions? So, okay. Well, we can line up. I mean, it depends how long you guys want to be here. We want to hear what you're thinking. But, yeah. You have to sign. Hold on a second. This is going to be three minutes at the moment, okay? Because, uh, you know, this is kind of, the, this makes it hard because, you know, we spend a lot of time to get to these options, and everyone's going to have another better way to do it. And I don't mean any disrespect when I say that. Pretty soon you're going to make it because we didn't do this with the community. We're just going to make it into the decision then. Well, it's really that new stuff. Uh, to me, this is all uh, kind of brand new in the sense that uh, the matter has laid dormant uh, for all these years, and now we're saying we have to quick make a decision, uh, you know, next week, uh, so that we can get these bleachers. But we don't know whether Purpose Borough is going to allow us to. It seems like uh, the homework has not been done. Uh, is the insurance company going to cancel your policy if you don't do these things? Or can you present them with a plan uh, and say, yeah, we're going to uh, either fix or replace the bleachers, et cetera. Um, I can't believe it's going to cost $945. Uh, what are these bleachers made of? Aluminum? Anybody? Yes, aluminum. Aluminum. So you're going to fix them and only have a 10-year lifespan? That's ridiculous. Aluminum does not wear down uh, in 10 years after you uh, make the necessary repairs. I think that there are alternate plans. You don't have to do all the ADA stuff. You have to comply with the insurance company in terms of slippage and things like that. Um, I don't think that um, all of this has to be done in one fell swoop. You're liable to order the bleachers, uh, let's say, and then uh, Perkisy Borough has a problem with it. And so I think that more uh, homework has to be done uh, before you uh, run next week and uh, make these decisions. Um, it seems there's enough people here who would like uh, the money spent at Papi Yoda. Uh, if you're going to cost more money by doing it up at the high school field, having to put in uh, pathways, roadways for $286,000, put in uh, bleachers up there, put in uh, the uh, uh, concession stand and bathrooms. You're going to spend a lot more money uh, up at uh, the high school. And you can shake your head all you want, but uh, I think that these uh, prices have been pulled out of the air. Uh, I don't think that we even have potential bids or even estimates uh, from different companies as to what is required to fix uh, the bleachers. And uh, so I think that this is moving a little bit too fast. So I want to thank you first off for your time and service because I know that you guys have a heavy burden, especially a financial one. Um, 
I came in just to see what the options were, but I also have like, some questions. Um, obviously, the bleachers at Papillon are not in working condition. Um, they either have to be repaired or replaced. Uh, if bleachers were put up in the high school, would they not still need to be replaced or repaired anyway for the students at South Middle School? Did the South Middle School not need bleachers? We have portable bleachers that are up here now. Uh, seating 500, 700, I'm not sure. We would move them down. The so they would have a. The other factors, um, first of all, I've been in a lot of places for one. Poppy Odor is a, a wonderful facility for many reasons. Uh, the small town community feels is one of them. But um, if you were to move it to Hellman, just curious as to the cost it would have to shut down that field. Because as somebody said earlier, if you come up here on a Saturday, that field is being used all the time. So if you're trying to make concession stands or bathrooms, would there not also be a cost to the school district and the community to make these uh, improvements to help them feel even though that field would be shut down? Yeah, I don't believe so. I think we could do the construction around that and still run out the field. Okay. Um, the, the only other thing is this is a straight taxpayer. Um, if I'm looking at all the options, to me, I wouldn't stay copy order, but also saving money, choice four seemed the best to me because it saves you over $800,000 versus moving it up to the high school or doing all new repairs. Um, I'm not really sure what is wrong with the field. I understand that there's not the best crown, but when you said it's a million dollars to improve the field conditions, I don't necessarily understand what that cost is for. A lot of it is for drainage. Uh, the field mostly on the uh, south side is mostly some rock. Did some test boring a few years ago. Uh, that side of the field is a drain wall. Okay. Uh, we have all the water coming off the field hockey or say Fish Street, the field hockey field underneath the visitors' bleachers, right onto the field there, and that catch does the drain. So this would be moving everything that's there, uh, putting in a lot of drainage uh, around, uh, taking it down to the protection pond that's already back behind the field. The only other factor that I would uh, take in mind is if this is such a big uh, item, is there any possibility that this would be a referendum item on an election? Or is it, because it seems like this year's budget isn't going to get it done. I do encourage you, if possible, to make one decision today that would be if it sounds like you're in a time frame, you do need a word of bleachers, regardless of where the games will be held. But is this an issue that could be a referendum item in the following years? I think it qualifies to be one. We're still trying to play football this year, too. Well, there will be football regardless, but just where we know. That's right. All right, thank you. Thank you. Safety. 
back on the other side of the fence is what we're seeing. A backyard cannot go through a fence? Is it going to go through a building? Sure. But is it, if, that, if that, a sporting event goes on and that tractor loses control, what then are we putting children at risk? If you're concerned about safety, I'm, I'm asking as a safety, as a parent, what about the safety of the kids that are going to be on that field when construction? I gave you the answer is the same security fence and temporary fencing we do for every construction project for the past decade has been sufficient for every other project, but not this one, is what you're telling me. I don't know. I have been here it for is. all the projects. There, there's, there's no difference between that security fencing for any other project as it would be for this one. So every security project that's going on in this school has kids playing a game or young kids running around with their parents during the activity. I mean, I, we're not going to get into the back and forth here. We have a back yeah. with a bucket swinging right outside of a classroom window and no one seemed to want to stop that project from happening. Uh, second question is, uh, Mr. Rothman, are you going to help? Um, when it comes to the field, we only have four home games this year. Would that be beneficial? Would that field process of copy order be started right after our, that fourth game to give you the time to get the work done? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I think we could wait till the end of uh, your four games and then start the work there. You mean bleacher work or field work? Yeah. The field work. Yeah. I believe so, yes. Okay, thank you. No, we won't have, we won't have the process, the land development process done. You said this no. We have to go through the full land development process for Pop Year, and if we start tomorrow, I don't know that we would have our, our NPDES permit in time to actually start work in 2016. We have six to nine months, so we have six months. It'd be close. <laughs> Uh, good evening, Josh Warman, uh, West Rock Hill. Uh, one price concern that of mine that I have that wasn't brought up is um, how old, how old is the turf that is up here right now? The turf is about six years old. It has a ten-year warranty. Uh, when we purchased it, they said we'd get twelve years easy out of it. Uh, we get it inspected every year because it is under warranty. Just inspected about a month ago. Uh, came back and said it's in fine condition. Is that with football being played only 10 or 12 years, or just the, what is going on there now? As it is. Or, okay. Or, and what is the price? What is the price to replace that? Just the carpet's around 500. Around 500. Just so 500,000 in the next four to five years would have to be. I think more like six, seven, or eight years. Okay, so that's a price that would have to be considered in year 2.5 million in the next couple of years. That would be a different project, I guess. Okay, but, it, but it's, long, it's in the big picture. Long term. It's in the big picture. Yes. Okay, just one, it just wasn't, wasn't brought up. Thank you. Diane Herring, Hilltown Township. I do not envy the position any of you face this evening. Um, this is a very, very hard choice for all of you. I appreciate the fact that tonight you did something very out of character for normal committee meetings, which is to hold it here in a venue that allowed everyone and that the format has allowed people to speak. Um, that being said, I'm going to raise a question because it has been going around the community for some time. It is my understanding that Poppy River Field, based on its current dimensions, is not large enough for all high school sports teams to be played on. Given that, whatever you invest in Poppy Yoder, based on the change in law in the state of Pennsylvania in the last 12 months, you need to reciprocate. So if you are planning on spending 2.4 or 3.6 or 948000 to allocate to one activity, one sports activity. You need to then spend that equally for all sports. So whatever you have up there, 
that is associated financially just to pop a odor, you need to double. Because that needs to be put on Hellman where the rest of all the high school sports teams play. Because I don't know if many are aware, but recently, the state of Pennsylvania ruled that Title IX is compliant to high school sports. The state of Pennsylvania also now publishes what we in the district spend on all sports activities. It's available on the Pennsylvania Department of Education's website. We already have an offset in which our boys' teams, by percentage, are having more money spent on them than our girls' teams. Across the board. So I would caution everyone tonight that while I personally love Poppy Order Field, and I love the closeness, and I love the tradition, and I moved here for just that small town feel, there is a much bigger financial decision here than you have even touched on on that screen. You talk about liability issues, anyone in this district could turn around and say, you just spent 2.5 million, now spend it again. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jennifer Ehlers. I live in Hilton Township in Virgil, Long Island. Um, one of the things that became very obvious as I was listening was there's clearly a differentiation between short-term and long-term care that I think is before you. And one of the things that I think maybe um, to, to look at the things that affect the short-term versus the things that affect the long-term, the short-term things are Obviously, they don't want to lose a football season at Poppy Yoder. Also, I think something that needs to be considered is the income, possible income loss, and the possible loss of community support, which is evident tonight. I'm sure this is just a small token of that. But what happens if you make the fixes that need to be fixed to be able to have September work, to be able to have the team be able to play at Poppy Yoder? It also buys you some time, and I think long term, how can we make something that's possibly so decisive between a lot of different people having different views, actually turn around and make that positive? Um, one of the things that I think you can do by dealing with what needs to be dealt now, you buy yourself some more time to get into a lot of this nitty gritty, to come up with some better answers for some of these things that we don't know the question is how they can be answered. I know timing is one thing that we keep hearing over and over again. Approvals within townships, etc. Another thing it buys you, it buys you time to allocate in within your budgets. One of the things that I kept hearing was, we heard this before, we heard this before, we heard this before. Um, just like anybody else does within their household, if we know there's a major expense coming, we start allocating a percentage of money aside to be able to pay for that. Um, the other thing is Jeff brought up, Jeff Hornbach brought up the possibility of doing um, fundraising to stay at Poppy Yoder. That's something that you as a board can have the community take as something as positive. Again, turning something that's possibly decisive and making it positive. I think when you talk about community support, how do you as a board have a responsibility to keep the community together? to keep us strong, to keep us committed. This, I did not grow up in this community, I married in, but that's one of the things that sets Pembridge apart. Um, I think that there's a lot of ways to help the boys take care of this year, the band, cheerleaders, but also the community, and then allow them to build in, allow you to have the opportunity to have people really stand behind you, help with fundraising, help better understanding. I hate for you as a board to be stuck in a position where you're looking at spending this kind of money and feeling like it has to be decided all right now. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah. Uh, one, one second. Yeah. Is it Miss Younger? Younger. What was your name again? Younger? Yep. Yeah. Younger. 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 This is Yardley as a like. Oh, yeah. I, I just missed you were saying that we was needed to get the community involved and keep the community strong. And it's not fresh. What was your idea that we wouldn't do anything right now?
Are there any plans drawn up for these bleachers? Are there designs made up? Because the whole process of all that takes a while. And to get this bleachers that are designed for whatever field you're going to have, if it's not designed, it can take months to get that taken care of and pressed through until uh, it finally gets to where it's going to go. Um, and how long would it take to fix the bleachers that are there? It's got to, in my opinion, I, I, I don't know. I don't believe do bleachers per se, but I think it would be a heck of a lot quicker to repair bleachers than it would be to demolish, demolish them out, remove bleachers, and install new ones than it would be to repair ones that are already existing. And something also was brought up about moving water main in the middle of how long is that process going to take to move a water main from the existing field in the parking lot to this school? Is that even going to be planned through anything? I mean, how long is that process going to take till we can even get into that field? Can we answer that? Yeah, actually, the water line is not really the, 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 the water line is actually uh, a secondary fire suppression line. We only need to move about 200 linear feet. So, Percocet Regional said that they will valve it off while we do the install. While we're there doing footings, we'll route, reroute the pipe and hook it back up. There's no downtime for the construction of that. To answer your first question, the bleacher drawings are already done. For both fields? Or just one field? Or you made well, it here, well, again, the decision, here. the decision is the boards because it's easy to get new bleacher drawings because it's wide open. We can put the piers where we need to. The ones for Pop Yoga, we need to dem demolish them first stabilize that soil. You saw the picture of the erosion, all the new footings, and then build the new bleachers on top. So it is going to take longer to fix those bleachers than it would be to install the new ones. Well, the, the, the time crunch that we're under is ordering and the delivery to either site because everyone does their bleachers during the summer. We're all going to be competing to get on the manufacturing line to get our bleachers for either field. That's, that's the urgency here. Thank you. Hi, Beth Monson. Um, I appreciate the discussion, and if the boys want to play football this year, regardless, I think it's pretty set in stone that you've got to order bleachers, so you've got to get moving on that. Um, what you mentioned earlier, but with all this dilly dallying back and forth, you haven't actually talked about the money. I mean, we've talked about fundraising and this and that, but more importantly than the decision, I want to know what you're planning and what your feeling is on how you're going to um, pay for this. I know um, the manager, whoever, has said that things are allocated, but if it becomes critical that something gets done, the money gets procured from somewhere. So I want a little insight into that process and that thinking too, not just the nitty gritty about yes or no, we're going to um, make this decision on Monday. Thank you. Okay, you know, Kathy, let Kathy answer that for a second. And uh, we talked about, you know, we've had some preliminary, our bond, boundary issues, uh, our ability to borrow money at competitive cost right now. So why don't you, that, just going to just give us a fly by. Um, my original comments had to deal with um, the monies that have been committed right now. We call it the Pacers Reserve. The boards over the past um, several years have put excess monies um, over their uh, allocated fund balance. Typically, this board likes to have a 4% fund balance for many funds at the end of the year, and anything over that in the past had always been put over into the capital projects fund so that when it came time to do projects like this or working projects, the money was there, the board did not have to go out and borrow monies. Um, we have used those funds up, and the last three years, I believe, rather than putting any excess monies over our 4% into the capital projects, the board committed those funds to help offset the rising PISER's cost. Um, the board can uncommit those funds at any time during the year and reallocate those funds for, for another use. So that will be up to this board to have that on a, uh, an agenda to do that. The other issue, the other item that we could do, 
obviously fundraising, that's not something that's going to happen today and tomorrow that we would have those monies to buy the bleachers this year, but that's certainly something long term for other things. Um, you know, not the other, or whether it's at the turf field up here. Um, we do have the opportunity, as Mr. Casper said, borrowing rates are very low right now. That is also an option that the board can discuss because that was one of the things tonight. Um, the board was presented a, a three year plan, but over the three years, we're looking for the four years, it's around $20 million. Um, that's a conversation we should be having. Are we going, you know, how are we going to fund those 20 million? Is now the time to borrow the money for those projects plus whatever the um, renovations are going to be doing? So, again, the board has a number of options available to them to discuss. I was also curious. Um,